This is not your room. Take my knife. Look at all these magnets. Jesus shit. Oh. Unboxings. Welcome to unboxings. Still not sure if I want to just do it here. It's just easy to go from door to countertop. And I got a fly strip here because there's fucking flies the size of like raisinets. Like those big raisinets, like the good ones. It's dark. Can I get the sun? Where's the sun? Boom. That's dangerous. All right. I'll eventually figure out how to open boxes properly so that I can have a career on the internet where I just open boxes on camera professionally with proper B-roll or have no idea what's actually in anything and open it up like a real unboxing channel. Chewbacca, you want to ask? Seven second roll? There's no way. No, it's not big enough. That's, I actually do need packing material, so let's save that. <gasps> the X2O XP2 Pro. This was either sent to me by X2O or by Apos or by Hi-Fi Go. <sighs> We're a bit wheezy. I spent too much time in the basement. Um, the very first XP2, where the hell's my cup with water in it? We may have to get water so that I could feel better was um, the only x product that I don't recommend. I, I reviewed it, I liked it, I praised it, it sounded great, it was built like a tank, but I didn't recommend it. Yeah, I have no lights in my fridge. Wait a second, I took out a bottle, I took out a bottle of iced tea too, where the fuck did that go? I think I burned my mouth on tortellini soup this morning. Mm. Mm. Because it was missing features. Because the XP2 non pro, because this is a brand new version, is it's just a blue, it's basically if X Duo made a BTR5, right? That's kind of cool actually. Like the matte black with the shiny black. Works great in the sun. She works pretty good in the shadows, too. Oh, the addition of the red knob is making me randy, baby. Wait, what does it say? It says X. Oh, the, the volume's not. Is that supposed to be the bottom now? Okay, they did a thing. So, it's not a tiny unit. Uh oh. Uh oh, the sun. Uh. Hey! <laughs> Oh God, basement and then sun, bad. I did not realize these front and rear were gonna be glass. So that's wild. Oh God, Chewbacca's gonna see it. She doesn't give a shit. So, the difference between this one and the old one is obviously the entire internals are different, but they've added a play pause button, which I think might also change track, because it was like a BTR5, the original one, but it, it had no next track, so you had, you had to control the volume on a knob, and you had to pull out your fucking device and hit next track. No. I want to put my device in my pocket, have my headphones attached to this, and control my head, everything about my music. So we've got a play pause, which possibly can do a double press for next track. I have to read instruction manuals. Then we have a high-low gain. We have a microphone built in there. Got an input select. How many inputs do we have? Two USB C! USB C, baby tubers. Got a charge and a USB labeled one. Uh, so we can obviously charge it while you're using it USB or use a USB to your phone and then charge it also. Blank. Uh, it's actually a little tapered top here. Front and rear glass panels. We have a line in. Headphone out, not balanced. And we've got this. Nice slot LED, which I'm going to turn on. Oh, yeah. The red knurled knob. Imagine that changes color if it changes inputs. Oh, green, blue for Bluetooth, red. I just released um, today that video of the own 
BU1. And what it's missing is a button that lets you press it and switch between Bluetooth and anything else. Wait, well that was think that a digital input? Can I see? If you could take a fiber optic and that'd be crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna be able to pair this to my phone and hopefully be able to play pause next track. 300 milliwatts at 32 ohms. I don't trust numbers anymore. I've had too many devices that have just blown me away and they claim to be like not powerful at all. Get out of here. Look at the Arish. Things fucking current mode, no one says anything. Uh, comes with, how long have I been filming this fucking unboxing? It feels like five minutes already. Are we five minutes into an unboxing of one product? USB-C to USB-C jumper, perfect, need that for my phone. A three and a half to three and a half jumper, perfect, need that for something. And then a USB-C cable. Is it made? It's actually got really, really heavy duty uh, strain reliefs on there too. Do you think the instruction manual will say anything about what the next track button does? Okay, button number two. Bluetooth play, pause, pairing button, short press to play, pause, music, long press, three seconds to forcibly enter Bluetooth pairing state. Fuck! It's still not going to let me change tracks, is it? Since it just says play button, short press to play, pause, music, three seconds, forcibly enter Bluetooth pairing state. Nothing about double pressing it to change tracks. God. Fine, it's fine. It'll probably be great. It'll, just, it'll take when the pro, the pro X comes out and fucking. Uh, I want to like this thing so bad. I want it to replace the BTR5, but it may never if they just keep this shit up. Just next track. You're already controlling play pause. Why wouldn't you just double press for? Maybe it'll do it. Maybe it'll do it. Ooh, my neck gear uh, hub is here. And uh, it's fine. Chewbacca, how about that one? That one's bigger. So I bought a smart, a, no, I know, I bought a dumb hub because I use all ubiquity stuff here. And I had originally bought that Zytel Zexel, Z Y X E L. Switch, but it's a managed switch, and you don't need a managed switch when you're running ubiquity stuff because the security gateway is what assigns all the things. So I had multiple fucking things fucking with my IP addresses, and it became a living nightmare. And I had to switch back to my $18 mono price, uh, stupid dumb uh, gigabit hubs. And I only have one that fits eight, so I need to have it's pretty much full now. So I need more, so I bought this, which We'll be replacing the Zixel. This is not rack mount, but it is also 24. I think I got that other one because it was PoE also, which is power over ethernet. We've got power plug, don't need that. The expansion is for a bracket for rack mount. Good, I may need that. Rack mount mount mounts. Little tiny screws for attaching the rack mount, mount, mount. Four rubber feet in case you want to put this on a table. Wall mount screws to mount things to the wall. They really, they're ready for you. It's another one of those JDM what recommendations. Because it just needs to sit there and be a dumb switch, which fits everything. Apparently this neck gear is, is the one for that. So I can go down and fuck my whole network up again. Pretty lights, 24 bits. This is the GS324. Oh, you can just hang it on a wall. It's got like wall hanging. Why would you do? I guess you would hang it like this, but then the neck gear would be upside down. So you'd want to hang it like this, power on the top, put your Kensington lock there. It's all metal, by the way. This is, I was not expecting that to be all metal. There's your 24 ports with individual LEDs probably on each one or maybe they just put them here whatever this is not this is the least exciting thing 
I'm, I have a degree in networking and I just don't care. Just work, please God. That's, that's, my, that's my chant. And I'm gonna keep this box because in case this thing breaks in three weeks and I have to return it to Amazon, uh, you keep the original box. How long has this unboxing been? I need to make more. So I unboxed two things and I apologize for sneezing in the middle of it. It was probably very loud. And fucking X2O needs to get their shit together and give me a next track button on their fucking XP2. Fuck. Plug shit in the end. All right, unbox this right now.